Welcome to the 2020 Momentum G Sport Awards, a partnership between the G Sport Trust and the Department of Sport, Arts and Culture, proudly brought to you by Momentum. Your host this evening is powerful brand builder and creator of on stage magic, Guillermo Tokwa. Good evening, and a warm welcome to the 2020 Momentum G Sport Awards, a partnership between the G Sport Trust and the Department of Sports, Arts and Culture. And for the second year, it's proudly brought to you by Momentum. It is the 15th edition of the country's longest running Women's Sport Awards. And to honor this historic occasion, the G Sport Trust has introduced the African Women in Sport Awards and the Global Women in Sport Award to truly make this a global platform of women's sport recognition. Under normal circumstances, this would be in a room beaming with hundreds of women who would have been here to celebrate the strides they've made in the sporting fraternity in the past year. But it's COVID-19 times and while obeying the strict social distancing regulations and obviously sanitizing regularly, we have pulled together a meaningful celebration as the class of 2020 boldly own their success. I am not alone this evening. I am with my beautiful co-presenters. Let's quickly be, um, you know, head over to the red carpet and be joined by Rachel Makura, who's manning the red carpet for us as the people will be arriving in a staggered way. Rachel, how are things looking out there so far? Thank you so much, Kia. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to the 2020 Momentum G Sport Red Carpet event. Now, this is the point of entry for all our finalists and our guests as they will make their way to the red carpet before making their way into the arena for the main event. Now, it promises to be a great night of celebration as we celebrate these women who have done incredibly well in the year 2019. Now, understand, Lesejo is is in the trophy room tonight. Lesejo, how's things on your side this evening? Thank you so much, Rachel. Yes, good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to the Momentum G Sports Awards VIP room. Now, like I said, this is the VIP room. This is where the action and the magic definitely happens. Now, I get to interact with the winners for tonight and really get a feel of how they feel now that they've walked away with some of the awards for this evening. And also get to know what it truly means for them to hashtag she owns her success. It is as simple as that. So ladies and gentlemen, sit back, relax and enjoy because tonight is definitely going to be amazing. Over to you, Kia. Thank you so much, Lesejo, and thank you, Rachel. I must say that you ladies are definitely owning your success tonight, looking absolutely amazing. Now, as we kickstart the show, there are some traditions that will never be left out, even though we are finding our way through our new normal in COVID times, and that's definitely singing of the national anthem. Please rise for the singing of the national anthem, and afterwards, we will hear from the founder and originator of this event, and that is Kes Naidu. <laughs> Thank you. 
Good evening, South Africa, and hello, world. It's the first global edition of the G Sport Awards, and we are so honored to be continuing our beautiful partnership with the Department of Sport, Arts and Culture as we celebrate our 15th edition of South Africa's longest running Women's Sport Awards. For the second year, our sponsors Momentum are encouraging us to boldly own our success as women in sport. And I'm so heartened to see our winners tonight courageously take up that challenge. What is the power of recognition in COVID-19 times? It is everything. It means that whatever the climate, however challenging it becomes, women always remain on the agenda. This has been the biggest operation by G-Sport to unearth role models in women's sport. Thank you to everyone for bringing us together tonight. As a proud Brand South Africa Play Your Part Ambassador, I stand here tonight mindful of the role we all play to fly the flag high. To everyone who has been part of this G-Sport 15 journey, I hope you have found it richly rewarding. Thank you. Thank you so much, Kaz. Now, Momentum has been in partnership with G-Sport for Girls for two years now, and they continue to recognize women in sports and also to really help them understand what it means to own their success. And someone that has been spearheading this is Nontogozo Madonsela, who is the Group Chief Marketing Officer for Momentum Metropolitan Holdings. Over to you, Nontogoz. Good evening, distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen. We have gathered here tonight to celebrate the phenomenal success by women in sport. I am thrilled that we have not allowed the pandemic restrictions to stop us from coming together to continue making her story. I feel honored to yet again be given this occasion to share some important thoughts with you. Thanks to initiatives like G Sport, we have the amazing opportunity to challenge the current status quo of representation of women in sport and to celebrate and recognize all of you. Sponsoring professional women sporting teams are one of the fastest ways to shift the emphasis and shatter the many barriers sportswomen are facing in 2020. Although there have been positive shifts in global and local trends towards sponsoring professional women and teams, there is still long to go. The commercial disparity between male and female sports is still enormous, despite the fact that many cases, female athletes exhibit more prowess. One thing that rings so true is that transformation will grow when publicity grows. That is why sports coverage is hugely powerful in shaping norms and stereotypes about gender. Media has the ability to challenge these norms promoting a balanced coverage of men and women's sport and a fair portrayal of sports people, irrespective of gender. If this gender bias is not addressed, it looks like a cycle will continue. Women in sports deserve better. Sponsoring of women in sports needs to keep rising. It is going to become even more relevant for South African brands as the men's sponsorship landscape has become extremely cluttered. Mark my words. You don't want to be kicking yourself in five years' time because you missed the boat. Jump on board. As a brand committed to supporting women to own their success, Momentum has contributed to the professional advancement of women cricketers at the highest level over the past seven years. Our sponsorship has resulted in more women cricketers becoming contracted as professional, as professional players on a global field. It has been proven that girls who play team sport are more likely to graduate from university, find a job, be employed in a male dominate, in male dominated industries. There's even a direct link between playing sport in high school and earning a bigger salary as a grown up. Learning to own victory survive defeat in sport is good training for owning triumphs, surviving setbacks, and surviving setbacks at work. Playing sports makes girls more confident and teaches them determination. It can give them the courage to take risks and ask for more from ourselves and for others. But it's the skills we've learned through sport, like dedication, self-discipline, focus, 
leadership, teamwork, asset assertiveness that makes an impact far beyond the playing field. This formula for success is what gets me excited and I hope it gets each and every one of you excited too. It takes a village to drive change. So tonight and every night, let's support each other to rise and not quit. We have the power to shift the momentum in our favor. And to all of you fearless women here tonight, you have earned the right to own your success. Thank you. Now, the G-Sports Awards were endorsed back in 2015 by the Department of Sports, Arts and Culture. Now, the Honourable, uh, the Minister rather, the, uh, the current Minister of the Department that is Sports, Arts and Culture, Honourable Natim Tatwa, was un unable to attend tonight's event, but he did send us a message. Take a look at this. Ladies and gentlemen, let me at the outset uh, indicate what an honour and a privilege it is. Uh, to address you on the occasion of the 2020 edition of the G-Sport Awards. As the country works towards overcoming the social and economic fallout of COVID-19, the G-Sport Awards have taken a different form, particularly this year, amidst this global pandemic. We wish to applaud all those who are working tirelessly in the front line to provide support and treatment to all those affected by the pandemic. We recognize the achievements of a formidable cadre of women athletes, administrators, technical officials, coaches, women in sport, media, and other women in the sporting sector who by virtue of a process stand a chance of being announced as winners in the various categories. As we, the Department of Sport, Arts and Culture, acknowledge the, and, and appreciate being a partner to this G-Sport Awards 2020, we also wish to express our gratitude to Momentum, who is naming sponsor, who is the naming sponsor, rather, to the awards and to all others who are investing in women's sport. We believe that your investment will also pave the way for other corporates to recognize the value of investing in women's sport. It is our vision to see women play sport at professional level and we can only realize this vision as a collective. This year's commemoration of the Women's Month is held under the theme Generation Equality, Realizing Women's Rights for an Equal Future. On the key thematic areas of generation equality is gender-based violence. Ladies and gentlemen, we are however certain that whilst we celebrate Women's Month during COVID-19, the lockdown has witnessed an increase in domestic violence and abuse, leaving women and children in particular vulnerable and in danger. The impact of the pandemic on society has the potential to reverse progress we have made on women's empowerment and eradicating poverty. The National Strategic Plan on Gender-Based Violence and joins all sectors to partner with government in creating safer communities. No abuse must go unhindered. Families and communities must unite against abusers and provide support to victims to eliminate violence against girls and women. Sport achievers have become known the world over giving the country they represent an international visibility and reputation not attained in other areas of social, political, and economic life. Personal pride in the achievements of a national sporting team is a powerful incentive
towards uniting the people of a country. The use of the flag and national anthems and international, in, in, at international matches rather, instills pride and loyalty. In keeping with the government's themes for this year's Generation Equality, realizing women's rights as an equal future, the overarching objective of this prestigious G, G Sports Awards program is to encourage women's participation and to highlight the celebration uh, of the role which women play across the entire value chain of sport. Our intention is to place women in, in sport on the same pedestal as women in other sectors and strata of society as the entire nation celebrates their achievements during the month of August. A special category, the Minister's Awards recognizes the outstanding efforts of selected athletes. We are pleased that this year's awards also acknowledge sports women in Africa and those who achieved on a global platform. Since its inception, these awards have recognized the achievements of formidable women in sport who have been trailblazers in their field, Casta Semenya and Hutazo Mojane, have been honored more than once on this platform and they continue to shine. Vicky Masugo of Ukose FM fame was inducted into the G-Sport Hall of Fame, joining the likes of Penny Haynes, Hazel Gumede, Cheryl Roberts, and Elana Mayer. We firmly believe that these awards serve to inspire women to reach greater heights, and they also serve to inspire the next generation of young women who have dreams of being the next Castas Menas, the Zanelle Situs, the Desri Ellis's et al. I would like to take this opportunity to thank Ms. Kas Naidu and her team at the G-Sports Trust for their continued commitment and dedication in profiling the achievements and performances of our sport women. Thanks for all that you have done during the lockdown to use the different platforms to build the brand of women in sport. Thanks to all the sponsors and all those who have worked tirelessly to put this event together. As we close Women's Month, let us celebrate South African women in sport. Let us make the lasting memories. Thank you for that. Sewonga Minister Honorable Natim Tetwa, such encouraging words that are coming from his office. Now, remember that you can tweet us under the hashtag GSport15 and hashtag she, she owns her success. And please do share your memories of this incredible recognition platform that has existed since 2006. You could also win big this evening. We are rewarding the most active social media personality tonight. So get tweeting and be part of the most popular data party around town. It is now time for us to own our success. Now, let's begin the night with the first award, which is Volunteer of the Year. It has been 13 years since this award was introduced and volunteers across the country have continued to selflessly raise the profile of women's sport in South Africa. Let's have a look at the finalist for Volunteer of the Year. For Volunteer of the Year. Paul Makoba. The selfless Makoba goes all out to assist the youth across many communities. A heroine to many kids that needed someone to give them a chance. Selena Monsami. A woman that has gone all out to promote women in sport and shown a great deal of dedication to the fight against the myriad of prejudices that women face. And Siabulela Loilane. She is an important asset in the fight for the inclusion of women in sport and development at grassroots level. 
She is a trailblazer and has played a big role in taking kids off the streets and giving them a purpose. And the first award of the night, which is Volunteer of the Year, goes to none other than Siabulela Loilane. And to present this award is 2007 G-Sport Hall of Famer and current G-Sport trustee, Hazel Gumede. Loilane is an important asset in the fight for the inclusion of women in sport and development at grassroots level. She is a trailblazer and has played a big role in taking kids off the streets and giving them a purpose. Congratulations, Sia Bulela. Tell me, how does it feel to be the very first person to win this award for tonight? Please do pick up the trophy. Sia Bulela, please kindly come closer to the mic and tell me, how does it feel to win the very first award for this evening? I am so honoured. Um, Thank you to, to G-Sport, uh, thank you to Momentum for their recognition and the Ministry of Sport. I am speechless and um, I thank my family for the support, um, my association, which is the National Football Supporters um, Association, and um, Shumba, which is my team, and uh, football in South Africa for giving me the opportunity and for recognizing my talent. Amazing stuff. Congratulations once again. How beautiful does Sia Bulele look tonight? Uh, Kea? She looks absolutely amazing and congratulations indeed Siabulela from Seven Zoom Lewenzayo in the sporting fraternity. Now the next award is Federation of the Year and this award applauds a federation that has taken up the challenge to 10 women sport professional and continues to make strides in this regard. Now let's have a look at who made the finalist for the Federation of the Year for the year 2020. For Federation of the Year, the finalists are Netball South Africa, the federation behind the ever-growing Spa Pro Tears. NSA has fought all barriers against the development of women's sport in the country. From development structures to the elite level, the federation has set the standard for other federations. Cricket South Africa, CSA continues to elevate women's cricket in the country. From grassroots to national level, with the international renowned Momentum Pro Tears. And South African Gymnastics. This federation has worked tirelessly to shed the misconception that gymnastics is only for the elite. While fighting societal ills that pose a challenge to the development of the game. SAGF continues to produce athletes that hold their own on global stages. And the G-Sport 2020 Federation of the Year goes to South African Gymnastics and joining us this evening to accept the, um, to actually hand over the award is Anne Fermark. This federation has worked tirelessly to shed the misconception that gymnastics is only for the elite. While fighting societal ills that pose a challenge to the development of the game, SAGF continues to produce athletes that hold their own on global stages. Congratulations on the Federation of the Year Award. How happy are you to receive this award? Wow, this is so unexpected and what a wonderful surprise for us. Uh, I really just want to say thank you to the Department of Sport for really recognizing women's leadership and to Momentum for leading the way in corporate South Africa in, in the future and to G Sport for creating the platform for women's sports to be showcased.
Now, for this next award, last year, Brand South Africa partnered G Sport to raise the profile of women's sport in South Africa by telling better stories across at G Sport for Girls social media. Now, this has resulted in more champions emerging around the country. Now, let's take the moment to honor the Brand South Africa Supporter of the Year. This award goes to an individual who goes out of her way to promote women in sport and give the their success momentum. Now let's have a look at the finalists for the Brand South Africa Supporter of the Year. The Brand SA Supporter of the Year. The finalists are Mamelo Maka. Maka's dedication to Bloom Celtic and South Africa's national teams is praiseworthy. If you see feathers, bright colors, and a gorgeous outfit on the grandstands, you will know it is Mamelo. Selena Monsami. Monsami always unapologetically shows up for women. Her passion for the promotion of women in sport brought to the fore many names that would otherwise not be known. And Shannon Landman Grill. Landman Grill has dedicated her life to the game of cricket, and her undying passion for the sport has been in the making for over two decades. And the G Sports 2020 Brand South Africa Supporter of the Year is none other than Selena Monsami. And to present this award, Brand South Africa Play Your Part Ambassador Juanita Kumalo. Moonsami always without fail shows up for women. Her passion for the promotion of women in sport brought to the fore many names that would otherwise not be known. Congratulations, Selena, on winning the um, Supporter of the Year Award. Do grab your trophy. It is your award to take home. And to t just smile for the camera. And uh, a quick one. Uh, tell me, why is it so important for women to continue supporting women in sports? It is so important, I promise you, because there's so many women that are out there owning their success and they're doing such amazing things for sport and we need to back them, we need to sponsor them, we need to put them out there on social media, get everyone to support them because that's our future. We are empowering our future generation and that's where we leave our legacy. Ladies, you heard it from Selena, you need to continue supporting women in sport. Over to you, Gia. And Congratulations to her. You can actually tell um, from her smile that she definitely enjoys what she does. And now it is time to recognize the Sponsor of the Year. This award acknowledges the increased investment by corporate South Africa in women's sports in its quest to turn fully professional. Now the finalists for the Sponsor of the Year are the following. For Sponsor of the Year, the finalists are Bar. Finding a sponsor that is dedicated to the promotion of women's sport is surprisingly an arduous task. While some sponsors do not even bother to take a glance at women's sport, SPA has completely immersed itself and set a remarkable example for other brands by backing teams and organizations in the country. Telcom. Telcom's relationship with Netball South Africa has been key to the advancement of the local game in the country. The support of a sponsor always goes a long way, especially with the looming 2023 Netball World Cup. And Hollywood Bets. As a leader in sports betting in South Africa, Hollywood Bets stepped into the right direction to back women's sport sponsoring the KZN women's cricket team. And the 2020 G Sports Sponsor of the Year is none other than SPA. To present this award is Karel Bosman, Head of Sponsorship at Momentum. 
Finding a sponsor that is dedicated to the promotion of women's sport is surprisingly an arduous task. While some sponsors do not even bother to take a glance at women's sports, SPA has completely immersed itself and set a remarkable example for other brands by backing teams and organizations in the country. Congratulations on the award. Tell me how important is it for SPA to really back up women and netball? Oh, look, I first have to say thank you so much to SPA for backing up women in sport. And uh, to, to us, especially the SPA approaches, it means a lot because we wouldn't be where we are without SPA. They are our main sponsor, as everyone knows. And everything to do with um, funding and um, actually assisting the SPA approaches to be where they are today is because of SPA. So they are amazing in supporting women in sport and we're grateful for that. SPA is definitely amazing and they must continue to support women in sport. Thank you so much. They definitely must continue, Lesejo. We really do um, appreciate the work that they put in supporting women in sports. Now, the next award, we have seen people serve the game for years and years and often receive no recognition and perhaps never have the opportunity to boldly own their success. Now, the G-Sports Special Recognition Award look to change that and seek out real diamonds that otherwise would miss out. The finalists, for the Special Recognition Awards are... For G-Sport Special Recognition, the finalists are... Elizabeth Smith, the mother of gymnastics in South Africa. Smith has been involved in the sport for 52 years. She has progressed up the ranks to position of CEO and President. During this time, SAGF grew from four disciplines to nine and was recognized by the International Gymnastics Federation. Tepi Moroba, the South African female referee, is a stalwart on the field. She believes in women rising and creating their own opportunities in sport. And Sue Patham, a courageous woman that has been an advocate for racial equality globally for many years. This inspirational woman has not allowed age to deter her in her pursuit of her dreams. And the 2020 Special Recognition Award goes to a woman with decades of work under her belt. And that is none other than Elizabeth Smith. Now, to present this award tonight, we welcome back Deputy Director of General of uh, the Department of Sports, Arts and Culture, Sumaya Khan. The mother of gymnastics in South Africa, Smith, has been involved in the sport for 52 years, initially in the capacity as coach, judge, technical official, and then administrator. She progressed up the ranks to position of CEO and president, and during this time, SAGF grew from four disciplines to nine and was recognized by the International Gymnastics Federation. And congratulations to the mother of gymnastics, which is Elizabeth Smith, on her award for Special Recognition Award for this evening. Tell me about the driving force and your passion towards gymnastics. Well, it's been a 52-year journey. And uh, from the first day that I was involved in gymnastics, I was very, very fortunate to have many, many opportunities. And that was to do, and I had many, many mentors who helped me to develop me and to lead the way. And I've just tried to make sure that other people have got the same opportunities that I have. So we try to create a structure for girls and women to get, instill confidence in them. Because I believe if they got confidence, they can fill their full potential.
And now talking about owning your success, we are speaking about the person that just walked away with the award who has owned her success for the past 52 years. We now come to the Hall of Fame award. And this year, the G-Sport Hall of Fame inductee goes back to the essence of why this award exists, to bring back the heroes who paved the way for us to flourish in women's sport, the women who shared their success to enable others on their journey to success. Let's unveil our 2020 Hall of Fame inductee. The 2020 G-Sport Hall of Fame inductee is Dudum Sane, G-Sport trustee and 2007 G-Sport Hall of Famer Hazel Gumete will present this prestigious award. Dudum Sane is a netball pioneer who has dedicated over 40 years to championing the sport and unearthing new stars. Her incredible efforts over the years have paved the way for the current generation. Congratulations, Mama. I mean, first and foremost, you look absolutely stunning. Tell me what this award truly means to you. Um, you know, I'm lost for words. I'm telling you, um, this is something that I never expected. But you know, the Lord kept me. I just want to thank the Lord kept me that at the end of the day, I'm able to see the work that we've done in netball. I thank you very, very much for all the sponsors, for all the people that thought about us, those people that were not recognized in everything that we've been doing in netball. I thank them very much. It means a lot to me. It definitely means a lot to me. And you know, we think of retiring, but I think you've boosted me now. I'm going to start all over again. If I have to take a stick and go and go to the courts, that's what I'm going to do now. And that's the energy that yes. we want from you. Congratulations thank, thank once again. Thank you so much. Thank you. And we are so grateful that the G-Sport Award is actually reigniting the spark within you. Now, congratulations to all the winners so far. Ladies are looking absolutely amazing. And I'm quite certain that there is a lot more people on the red carpet who are looking absolutely great this evening. Now, let's catch up with Rachel, who is on the red carpet, and see who's arriving for the next batch of awards. Rachel, how is it going? Hi Kia, all the action here at the red carpet is amazing. All the women looking good for tonight's award ceremony. And I must say congratulations to all the winners thus far. I'm now joined by the Honorable Deputy Minister of Sports, Arts and Culture, Ms. Notawe Mafu, who is such an advocate for women's sports and who celebrated women in sport in all her social media platforms. Madam uh, Deputy President, um, uh, Deputy... <laughs> I am going to be the deputy president for today. For That's okay. <laughs> you look amazing tonight. Th thank you so much. Just tell us about um, the great year that was for women's sports in 2019. How would you describe that year? Thank you so much. And uh, look, um, sport in South Africa, for women in particular, mm -hmm. it has come a long way. But 2019 was just out of, you know, out of this country. Was, remember, we, we had Banyana Banyana qualifying to go and, and, and participate in the World Cup. We had um, Proteas, um, cricket, also qualifying and going to Australia, and they played very well, and I was there to support them. But also, if you remember, we had Spa uh, Proteas, the, the netball team, in Liverpool, and they played up to the semi-final level. So yes, for me, 2019 showed that women's sport, if it's given all the support that is needed, and we are all there for it, we can actually do very well as South Africans in sports. Absolutely, Minister. Before I let you go, you advocate for the importance of generational equality. Why is that important to you, and how does that also tie in with women? Critical, because when you talk to generational equality, you are saying those that have already, are already there, must be able to empower those that are coming and those that are coming must be able to hold the hand of the others so that there is no gap in between. I'm here, I must be able to mentor somebody else who will be at my position. That's what genetic equality stands for. 
Thank you so much. Great. Well, powerful words there from the Deputy Minister of Sports, Arts and Culture, Ms. Notawe Mafu, speaking of the importance of generational inequality. Now it's back to Kia as she continues to announce the new batch of winners of the 2020 Momentum G Sports Awards. It's quite the turnout there on the red carpet with Rachel. And we continue on with our next round of awards. Now, in 2007, G Sport introduced One Woman in Media Award. And today, we proudly present, present awards across five women in media categories. The first media award honors women in PR and sponsorships who champion women's sports. Now this category was fiercely contested during public voting. The finalists for women in PR and sponsorships are... For women in PR and sponsorship, the finalists are... Kebe Tayele, an incredible PR director. Dayele launched various campaigns with the Netbank Cup and the return of the Carling Black Label Cup in July 2019. Lona Benya. Benya has given her all in order to make room for women in sport in South Africa and predominantly in the KwaZulu Natal province. And Kobi Legama, a servant of the game and a servant for the game. Gama has found a way to beautifully merge her education to bettering the world of sport in the country. And the 2020 G Sport Women in PR and Sponsorship is none other than Kiawe Tsui Taele. To present this award is four-time G Sport Award winner, Khotazo Munjane. An incredible PR direct, director, Dayle, launched various campaigns with the Netbank Cup, the return of the Carling Black Label Cup in July 2019 with Ian Wright, and is also championing a male-dominated industry. Congratulations, Kiawe Etu, for winning the award for women in sports and PR and sponsorship. Please do come step closer to the mic and just tell me how excited are you to walk away with this award? Oh my God, to be finally be recognized under this category has really been a privilege and an honor. And I just think I want to thank God because his timing is so perfect. This is actually my third nomination in this category. And you know that the category is actually three years old as well. And I think to momentum, for you know, anchoring their sponsorship portfolio around women, we appreciate that. To Ms. Kess and to the G Sport team, we hope to see another incredible 15 years. And uh, I think I also want to thank my family in the game, which is the M Sports Marketing, Mom Felicia. Not only did you give me an opportunity, but you also are uh, honored and you also tailor made the woman that is standing here today. You polished me to be what I am today. Congratulations once again, and you look absolutely stunning. Thank you very much. And congratulations to Kebe We Keep the tweets coming. We can see them coming in numbers. It's hashtag GSport15 and hashtag she owns her success as we continue to celebrate women who have made continuous strides in the sporting fraternity. Now, the next media award is Women in Print. And this award continued to recognize a woman creating powerful content about South African women in sport and breaking barriers in the male-dominated world of print. Here here are the lucky three shortlisted for Women in Print. For Women in Print, the finalists are Wusisiwe Mugwena. Mugwena has broken barriers not only in South Africa, but also on the global sports scene as she strives to take women's football forward. Lynn Butler, an ardent lover of cricket and golf. Butler epitomizes the phrase, dynamite comes in small packages. Her clean and articulate writing style sets her apart. And Marizan Kok, the experienced writer never misses a beat. From golf to netball, rest assured, Kok will always give a candid and fair account. 
And congratulations to Marizan Kok as she walks away with the 2020 Women in Print Award. To present this award is Momentum Pro Tears player Laura Volfart. The experienced writer never misses a beat from golf to netball. Rest assured, Kok will always give a candid and fair account. Congratulations, Marizan. Uh, tell me, how does it feel to walk away with this award and what it really, truly means to you? Yeah, it's, it's, it's a really, it's, it's quite unexpected, but it's a real privilege. It's, you know, working in this industry and working with these amazing people in the sports industry is, is reward in itself. But, so this is, you know, kind of cherry on, on, the, on the cake, I guess. Yeah, you heard it from Marizan, it's the cherry on the cake. Congratulations once again. Thank you absolutely standing in red there Marizan now we move on to the woman in social media award which honors a woman who uses her social media platforms and presence to enhance the profile of South African women in sport online the shortlist has some quality talent let's have a look at them for women in social media the finalists are Joe Prince the Stellan Sport Premier League netball ambassador uses her pro netball influence to promote the value of netball and creates awareness around everyday life issues that are affecting women and young girls through social media. Lamla Momoti, the former Springbok women's rugby player, is telling the stories of women in sport through her initiative Teta Woman and holds a weekly Instagram live chat to unearth unknown stars and Nandi Butelezi. The hard worker behind Vit University's sports social media has taken it upon herself to grow these platforms and has done so successfully. And for the year 2020, we crown Jo Prince as the woman in social media. To present this award is Momentum Pro Tears player, Laura Volvart. Prince completed her degree in 2019 while playing for Matis Netball and Southern Stings in the Telcom Netball League. The Stellan Sport Premier League Netball Ambassador uses her pro netball influence to promote the value of netball and creates awareness around everyday life issues that are affecting women and young girls through social media. Joe Prince, congratulations on your award for women in social media. First and foremost, you're looking absolutely stunning in your dress. And um, secondly, tell me how, it, how is it that you, one needs to take social media in, uh, important for their career? Yeah, social media is extremely important. It, you can build your own brand. You can use it to have a voice and have an influence. And I use mine to inspire young girls and show them that you can be much more than just an athlete. And that is why I think social media is important. So you as an athlete also have your own voice. And it's important to have your own voice on social media. Ladies and gentlemen, you heard it from Joe. Congratulations. Thank you. Now we move on to the Women in Radio Award, which goes to an individual who drives and promotes women's sport over the airwaves or someone who has broken barriers in the tough industry. Let's see who's dominating airwaves across South Africa as we reveal the finalists. For Women in Radio, the finalists are Itumeleng Banda, host of Feminine First Touch. Banda goes beyond asking tough questions of administration to uplifting and giving opportunities to young female football players to grow their brand. Lebu Mutwedi, her dedicated Women in Sport Wednesdays has uplifted women's sports and enhanced the coverage of smaller sporting codes that receive limited coverage. And Ntaviseng Mamabolo. Mamabolo has broken into broadcasting on national radio and owned the space. Her coverage of women in sport is key to the advancement of the women's game. 
and the 2020 Women in Radio is a young woman who never misses a bit in terms of giving us the feminine touch with her broadcasting. Congratulations, Itumeleng Banda. And to present this award is Ntangeni Chivase, Momentum G-Sport Awards judge. Host of Feminine First Touch, Itumeleng Khosikhari Yagabanda, goes beyond asking tough questions of administration to uplifting and giving opportunities to young female football players to grow their brand. She is a rising star in her profession and has become a recognizable speaker on all things women's football. Congratulations, Itumeleng. Firstly, you look so gorgeous. And tell me what this award means for your career. This literally means everything. My first time on the red carpet, my first time at these awards. Um, it literally means everything. It only means that from here we can only go bigger, get better. Um, I'm truly grateful, truly, truly grateful. She is truly grateful. Congratulations once again for your award. And what a rising star indeed. We cannot wait to witness all the strides that Itumeleng is yet to make in the industry. Now for the final Women in Media Award is Women in Television. This award honors women who are excelling in television broadcasting and leading the way to ensure increased coverage for women's sport in South Africa. A tough one to call. Let's see who the top three are. For Women in TV, the finalists are... Andy Mahamba, a woman who oozes style, elegance and confidence in front of camera. Mahamba is one of the most promising women in the sport industry. Mutsirisi Mohono. It is safe to say that Mohono was the face of broadcasting during the memorable 2019 Rugby World Cup. Week in and out, she presents to us the male-dominated Super Rugby with poise and proficiency. And Natalie Germanos, a walking cricket encyclopedia. Germanos is one of the best cricket commentators and minds South Africa has produced. Her excellence in the art has seen her infiltrate the global commentating space. And we can all admit that the 2020 woman in TV is definitely someone who has cemented her place in broadcasting and continues to do so day in, day out. Congratulations to Mutsidisi Mohano, who is our 2020 Women in Television winner. To present this award is once again Ntangeni Chivase, Momentum G-Sport Awards judge. It is safe to say that Mohono was the face of broadcasting during the memorable 2019 Rugby World Cup. Week in and out, she presents to us the male-dominated Super Rugby with poise and proficiency. Mutsidisi, you can come uh, closer to the mic. Firstly, congratulations on your award for Women of the Year in Television. You, when we think of you, we think of rugby and the stellar job that you did around the World Cup. You've had an incredible season. Tell me how it feels for tonight to walk away with this award. Man, this one means so much more just because of that momentous occasion, the 2019 Rugby World Cup final. It's my second win in this category and I feel like these wins come at every time when I, when I start to doubt myself and to doubt my space in, in, in sports. So this one is absolutely lovely. Um, yeah, yeah, I, I'm happy. I'm really, really happy. I think it's a beautiful reminder that you are doing an amazing job and you must keep it up. Thank you so much. Definitely, I agree with you there. Congratulations to the 2020 Women in Media winners. May you continue to fly the flag for women's sport. Remember, you can continue to tweet us using the hashtag SheOwnsHerSuccess and hashtag GSport15 and you could be a winner of our best social media influencer prize. Do remember to tag at gsport for girls Now, the next award is the Style Star of the Year Award and I think we can all agree that everyone stands 
a chance tonight. This goes to a woman who owns her style and uh, oozes elegance and grace as she goes about smashing her goals in the sporting industry. It is a dynamite top three in the Esther Lauder Style Star of the Year category. Let's have a look at the finalists. Estee Lauder Style Star. The finalists are Bali Sigiti. The charming Sigiti not only does her work with so much grace, she always does it looking absolutely stunning with her impeccable style and gorgeous smile. Tatiana Skwonmarka. Skwonmarka's style embodies the phrase, simplicity is the ultimate sophistication. So effortlessly, she manages to always look breathtaking on the red carpet. And Zinten Dawonde. Outside of her rugby kit and firefighting gear, Nawande is a woman of class and elegance, always looking effortlessly well put together. And the 2020 Style Star of the Year is none other than Zinte Ndawande. And to present this award from the G-Sport Trust, the founder of G-Sport, Kes Naidu. Outside of her rugby kit and firefighting gear, Ndawande is a woman of class and elegance, always looking effortlessly well put together, just like tonight. Definitely a woman of class and elegance. Zinte, please do come closer. I really want to know what inspires your look because you look absolutely gorgeous. Thank you very much, thank you very much. I'm actually inspired by the young kids who look up to me. Uh, you know, being an athlete, that it's not that easy because you are, you are not only an athlete, but you're also a brand on yourself. So when you're out there and you, you inspire other people, you inspire the young ladies especially, because those are the ones who, who look up to us. Those are the ones who want to be like who's in So always make sure that uh, when the young kids look, up to, look at me, they see not only an athlete, but they see a, a woman, a stylish woman who, who ties and be a brand and, and also try and inspire not only them, but also a woman everywhere around the world. And I'll definitely say that you are doing an incredible job at that. Well done, lady. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. And congratulations to Zinte. What I think we can all agree that you cannot buy style. You can see that she definitely is a style star. But how she matches her shoes with her nails, looking absolutely stunning. Now, let's have a look at who else is looking absolutely stunning on the red carpet. Rachel, where are you? What's happening? Hi, Guy, I'm over here on the red carpet with um, about to interview the ambassador of the 2020 Momentum G Sports Awards. She's a swimming icon and a two time Olympic champion. Ms. Penny, how are you doing tonight? I'm doing well, thanks. Great, lovely to see you here. Penny, you are the ambassador of the 2020 Momentum G Sports Awards. Why was it important for you to come on board? Well, I've known Kaz and Rake since I think the inception of this great initiative in 2006. I think I was the first recipient actually so when Kaz asked me if I'd like to be involved I said of course as always um, so since the beginning I've been involved and I think this initiative has grown so much and it's so important for women in sport um, to be recognized like they are being recognized tonight um, and hopefully it'll inspire the younger generations also to continue to strive for their dreams. And your thoughts on the status of, um, of women's um, sport in the country currently? I think obviously it's a lot better than it used to be um, but there's still a long way to go. So um, I just, again, we need to encourage the young ladies to keep on keeping on. And at the same time, I think I, I was just remarking to someone two nights ago on the news, there wasn't one female sport on the news. It's all uh, men, and not to take anything away from the men, but I mean, we need to get a little more exposure also in the media with regards to what the girls are doing. Well, powerful. There's um, words there from Penny Haynes, who is the ambassador of the 2020 Momentum G Sports Awards. Gia, I'm ready for the next batch of winners, girl. Let's go. And I've got you. Worry not. I definitely have got the next batch of awards. Thank you, Rachel. You are still watching the Momentum G Sport Award Show. It's time for us to reveal the G Sport Woman of the Year. Here, we recognize a formidable woman who is shattering barriers in the world of sport and inspiring women to continue believing that anything is indeed possible. Let's reveal the finalists for Woman of the Year. For Woman of the Year, the finalists are. 
Baba Alwa Lacha. Lacha is an advocate for women in sports as she continuously champions fellow athletes and women behind the scenes. Sarah Broad. She is always challenging herself to find ways to better South African golf and has led from the front during these testing times. And Virginia Mabaso. Mabaso's daring moves have ensured that rowing reaches people in underprivileged areas in the country. And as women in the sporting industry, we are forever proud of the work that this specific woman has put in place. The 2020 Woman of the Year Award goes to Virginia Mabaso. And to hand over this award is Executive Associate Group Marketer, MMI Holdings, Charlotte Nsubuka Mukasa. Mabaso's daring moves have ensured that rowing reaches people in underprivileged areas in the country. Congratulations, Virginia, on your award for this evening. Tell me how this really makes you feel. Um, I'm really excited. Um, and thank you to Momentum G Sports Awards for, for the recognition and continuously supporting women in sports and continuously growing participation of women in various categories. So this really means quite a lot to be um, um, named Women of the Year. This is one of the biggest, you know, so that means that the work that we are putting out there, um, it's really empowering to other young women that are coming after us. The work that you do put out there is really encouraging. Thank you so much and congratulations once again. Thank you so much. From Women of the Year to Coach of the Year, this award is presented to a coach who's making a significant impact on women's sport and is actively and proactively involved in growing the careers of South African leading sports women. The finalists for Coach of the Year are... For Coach of the Year, the finalists are... Desiree Ellis. Ellis led the women's national soccer team to their first ever FIFA Women's World Cup in France last year and a hat-trick of Kosafa Cup victories. Dinesha Devnarayan. Dinesha was appointed as the first black female full-time women's under-19 and women's national academy head coach. And Dorette Bardenost. In her first assignment as head coach of the Spa Proteas, Bardenost led the national netball team to the 2019 Africa Netball Cup title. And we definitely cannot talk about Dynamas coming in small packages and not talk about this impeccable woman who's walking away with a 2020 G-Sport Coach of the Year. Congratulations to Desri Ellis. Now to hand over this award is multiple G-Sport award winner Khotazo Munjane. Two-time CAF African Women's Coach of the Year award winner Desiree Ellis retained her title after leading the women's national soccer team Banyana Banyana to their first ever FIFA Women's World Cup in France last year, as well as a hat-trick of Kosafa Cup victories. Congratulations, uh, Desiree, on our Coach of the Year Award. Tell me how important is it to get this recognition tonight and what it means for you? Actually, it's my third time I'm nominated. The first time I get into the top three and I win it. I think it just shows that Banyana Banyana is on the right track. It shows the effort put in by the players, uh, the technical staff and the rest of the staff. Um, it shows that, you know, if the team does well, then individuals get rewarded. And I'm just blessed that I'm one of those individuals. So the coaches, you know, they're coaching our SESA League, our National League. You know, this is all for those coaches as well, for their contribution. Thank you so much and congratulations again. Now the next award is the Team of the Year. This award honours a team that has produced outstanding results in the period under review. Let's take a look at the finalists for this year's Team of the Year. For Team of the Year, the finalists are Cecil Banyana Banyana. 
the national women's football team has grown, competing at their first ever FIFA Women's World Cup in France and retained their third Kosafa Women's Championship title. Momentum Proteas, the pride of the nation. After reaching the semi-finals of the Women's T20 World Cup, a clear message was sent to opposition that this is the team to watch. And Spa Proteas. The Spa Proteas have experienced immense growth on the continent and beyond. The diverse team of strong players come together on the court and make Team SA a force to be reckoned with. And joining their title sponsor in the list of winners for tonight is the 2020 Team of the Year, which goes to the Spa Proteas. Presenting the award is Penny Haynes, Momentum G Sport Awards Ambassador. A team that has been a great ambassador of South Africa, the Spa Proteas, have experienced immense growth on the continent and beyond. The diverse team of strong players come together on the court and make Team SA a force to be reckoned with. Spa Proteus continue to grow year after year after year. Bongi, please tell me what would you attain your success to? Oh, I'd firstly I have to say to all our sponsors, we wouldn't be able to be, you know, where we are or to achieve whatever we achieve without them. And as women in sports, we actually need that even more. So I have to say we're grateful to have all of them. And um, I have to say, the passion the girls have, you know, the amount of work they put in behind the scenes, it just shows that as women we are capable and uh, when we put ourselves into, you know, something we can achieve it and it's great that we can uh, reap these awards and I hope that it's uh, set a tone for, you know, the years to come in netball and we can get even more, hopefully. Thank you so much. You heard it from Bongi. It's passion and hard work. Definitely agree there with you, Skipper. Congratulations to you and your team. Now, in celebration of the 15th edition of the country's longest running women's sport recognition platform, G Sport has now crossed borders and has introduced two brand new categories to make this a truly global awards platform. The brand new African Women in Sport Awards honors women on the continent who are taking action to effect positive change in women's sport. The finalists for South Africa, for rather, the African women in sport are the following. For African women in sport, the finalists are Caroline Nyadero. Nyadero uses beach handball events and economic projects in order to address idleness, reduce poverty, and empower young women in their respective communities in Kenya. Nondutugo Mgabi, the founder of Go Beyond for a Girl Child Initiative, demonstrates fearlessness and resilience. She is the first African woman to participate in seven marathons on seven continents in seven days. And Asha Komogisha. Asha is unperturbed by male-dominated spaces. Instead, she continues to shine and carry out her duties with the utmost enthusiasm and enjoys recognition as the most trusted scribe in African basketball. And the first ever African Women in Sport Award goes to Asha Komugisha. To present the award is Deputy Minister of Sports, Arts and Culture, O Mam Onotawe Mafu. Unfortunately, Asha cannot be with us tonight, but she did send us a video, and Lydia Munyabao is also here to accept the award on her behalf. Let's hear from Asha. Johnny, South Africa. My name is Asha Kamgisha and I'm speaking to you from Uganda. First of all, I'd like to say a big, massive congratulations to the organizers of the G Sport Awards. Congratulations on your 25th anniversary. You've been doing an incredible job celebrating women in sport in South Africa. And now, what an opportunity to go global and to also go continental. And, uh, you know, by introducing the African Woman in Sport Award. And I'm so excited, honored, and chuffed, and humbled to be accepting 
this award. Thank you so much to everyone that voted for me. Thank you so much to everyone that gave me an opportunity to be a part of this award. I'd like to use this chance also to say to the many young girls and women in Africa and over the world to tell them that, look, you can chase your dreams, you can get everything that you work hard for, and I'm here to support you in whatever way I can. Amazing, amazing. And truly a great example of women who are owning their success, not only in the country, but across the African continent. The second new award to honor this year's milestone event is the first ever Global Women in Sport Award. This award lauds women on the global stage who are championing women's sport through winning performances. The finalists for Global Women in Sports are the following. The Global Women in Sports. The finalists are Baba Lacha. Lacha's promising career on the international stage has seen her cement her place in Abel's starting lineup, earning a contract renewal for another season. Carla Pretorius. As an international netball phenomenon, Pretorius was voted as the best defender of the 2019 Suncorp Super League in Australia. In the same year, she was part of the Spa Proteus team at the Netball World Cup where she was crowned player of the tournament. And Mignon Dupria, the former Proteus woman skipper, is the first South African woman to play 100 T20 internationals and remains an influential member of the team. And the winner of the first ever Global Women in Sport is Carla Pretorius. Handing over the award is the Deputy Minister of Sports, Arts and Culture, Notawe Mafu. Unfortunately, Carla could not be with us tonight, but she did send us a video. And Spa Protea Captain Bongim Somi is also here to accept the award on her behalf. Let's hear from Carla. Thank you, G Sport, firstly, for this great platform you're creating for women in sport. Thank you for honouring them for all the great things they're doing in our country and all over the world. I'm truly honoured to um, be receiving this award, so thank you for it. It's an honour representing South Africa abroad and that's all I want to do is to do what I love, to represent my story, represent my family and represent South Africa wherever I go in the world. So thank you and um, keep up the good work. And congratulations once again to Carla. Now, I am so jealous because I am out here dishing up the awards and Rachel is out there actually looking and having a conversation with the people that are walking in on the red carpet. Let's see who Rachel has out there. Rachel, over to you. Thank you so much, Kia. Good job in studio tonight. Well, I'm now joined by an incredible woman. She was the 2019 Momentum G Sport Woman of the Year recipient last year. But this year, she's holding in or rather wearing a different cap. This time around, she was or rather is one of the judges of the 2020 Momentum G Sports Awards. She's the first ever woman, African woman, to summit, uh, summit Mount Everest. Sarah, you're looking great tonight. Oh, How are you doing? You. Uh, I'm doing great. It's good to get out, yeah. to see a lot of people that I haven't seen in a long time, to see you healthy. Yes. You, just, you just thank God for the time. Well, you played an important role for this year's Youth Sports Awards, yes. one of the judges to have come to the final decision as to who would win in each category. Yeah. How was that experience for you personally, yeah. and how difficult was it to come up with the, with the winners in the different categories? <laughs> Very difficult, because there was a lot of women of amazing caliber, more so not just doing sports, but actually making a difference, paving a way for the next generation. So it was not an easy task. I think they were all winners. Every one of the uh, guys that were nominated. It's just amazing that we had to pick a few, um, but everybody was a winner, actually. Not an easy process. Yeah, I have to ask you this before you leave. Yeah. Are you gonna summit any um, mountains anytime soon? Absolutely. <laughs> Once we learn how to survive with COVID or we eradicate it, God willing, 
Um, my next expedition is uh, Carsten's Pyramid, and then I go to the North Pole in April 2021, God willing. Great. Well, yes. thank you so much for joining us here tonight, and uh, good luck going forward. Thank you. Thank you for having me. All right, Sarah Kumalo, the first woman to summit Mount Everest, African woman to do so, and one of the judges of the 2020 Momentum G Sports Awards. Kia, girl, let's go, let's go. You know what, Ne? Here is, here is my thing. While Mesere plans to summit more mountains, it seems like Lesejo Uikemi said it's a summit had a dense floor. Because I know where she is, there is definitely a vibe. I hear there's a DJ, I hear that it looks like it's a party. Lesejo, where are you? What's happening? Show me around. Darling, I am at the VIP room. I'm standing with gorgeous ladies. They're having an amazing time. And I actually want to show you the DJ station. Now, this is our our famous DJ for tonight. Uh, she is Met L and she's on the ones and twos. Just look how stunning she looks. Look, she has the momentum colors. Met, how are you doing? I'm very good, how are you? I am so great. Uh, tell us, what are you playing tonight? Tonight, it is a beautiful event. We're celebrating women in sports. It's absolutely amazing. So I'm just playing good music to set the tone. Opulent house music is what Met L is all about. Pictures. And you heard it, it's opulent house music. Now I want you to follow me uh, where the ladies are. There's the setup of the piano, and here are the winners for tonight. I see Desiree, I see Zinta, they look absolutely gorgeous. Ladies, how are you guys feeling? And you heard it, they feel amazing. Let's go back to the DJ. And thank you so much, Lesejo. I'll definitely come be the DJ later on because Kahobona one recruiter. But for now, you must be looking, you know, the money because under these circumstances, I am not donating a free set. <laughs> In the meantime, athletes continue to lead the way and consistently put women's sport on the map through stellar performances. The first athlete award and the school sports star of the year. This award honors school stars to inspire sporting excellence in others. The finalists for the School Sports Star of the Year are the following. School Sports Star of the Year. The finalists are... Awande Malinga. Malinga was the most successful female in the SA School Squash team during last year's Asian tour. Caitlin Ramdath. Her tennis career began at the tender age of six and has numerous tournament victories to date, both on the local and international stages. And Zara Bodiat. Zara has an impressive resume with several medals and accolades next to her rising name. And the 2020 School Sports Star of the Year is Caitlin Ramdat. Presenting the award as Director General of Department of Sports, Arts and Culture, Vusmu Zimkize. Ramdath's tennis career began at the tender age of six and since then there has been no end to her growth and it shows in her numerous tournament victories to date both on the local and international stage. Congratulations on your award tonight. Um, you can kindly take off your mask so that I could just get how you're feeling tonight and walking away with this award. I am honored to be holding this award. I would like to thank G Sport for Girls and Momentum for giving us women in sport this opportunity. I would like to thank everybody who voted for me and all my family and friends. A special thank you to my mom and siblings for, my, for the big support that they have given to me. I would like to thank Tennis South Africa, KZN Tennis Federation and Wilson Tennis for the part that you have played in my journey so far. Last but most importantly, I would like to thank God for making everything possible. Thank you. Thank you so much, Caitlin. I mean, she is the youngest recipient for tonight and a big congratulations to her. Definitely has a bright future ahead of her, and we are so glad that she's owning her success from such a young age. Now, 
The next award is the Emerging Athlete of the Year Award, which recognizes a sportswoman under the age of 18 who has excelled in the year under review. It honors the stars of tomorrow to inspire them to sporting greatness. The finalists for Emerging Athletes of the Year are... Emerging Athletes of the Year. The finalists are... Caitlin Ruskrantz. Ruskrantz made history by becoming the first South African to win a gold medal for her bar routine at the World Challenge Cup. Caitlin McNabb. The top-ranked South African amateur golfer won both the 2020 Golf RSA's Women's Amateur Champs and the Stroke Play Championship. And Pagama Yantolo. Yantolo has used the sport of fencing to take her to places that are not easily accessible for a young black girl from Kailicha. And a huge congratulations to Caitlin Roskrantz, who is the 2020 Emerging Athlete of the Year. Now to hand over this award, G-Sport Hall of Famer Desri Ellis. Roskrantz made history by becoming the first South African to win a gold medal for her bar routine at the World Challenge Cup and also qualified for the Tokyo Olympics. Caitlin, a big congratulations to you. Do come closer to the mic. I'd like to get to feel how are you feeling? I mean, this is a big award for you tonight. It is a very big award. It is an incredible honor to be recognized for the sport that I'm so deeply in love with and, you know, to really be given props for all my hard work. I just want to really say thank you to G Sport, to all my voters, as well as to, to the Department of Sport, um, Art and Culture. I want, to, I want to also say thank you to my mom, to my coach, to the South African Gymnastics Federation, and to my Johannesburg Gymnastics team. And all glory to God for this amazing opportunity, as well as congratulations to all other finalists. How kind of you. She said congratulations to all the other finalists. Thank you so much. No It's time now for us to unveil the Athlete of the Year with Disability. These extraordinary athletes inspire and astound us with their tenacity, their guts and their expertise. Let's have a look at the finalists for the 2020 G-Sport Athlete of the Year with Disability. The athletes with disability. The finalists are Androne Beyers. Last year she won three medals at the World Para Championships in Dubai. Catherine van Staden. In 2019, she became the first South African female hand cyclist to complete the Ironman 70.3 event. And Hotato Monjani. She represented the country in all four Grand Slam tournaments this past year. And the 2020 G-Sport Athlete of the Year with Disability is none other than Khotato Monjane. Presenting the award is Director General of the Department of Sports, Arts and Culture, Obabu Vusmuzi Mkize. One of the most decorated athletes on the G-Sport stage, KG Monjane, tops the ranks as she continues her streak of being unbeaten against fellow South African wheelchair tennis players. She also represented the country in all four Grand Slam tournaments in the past year. Congratulations, Khotato. I mean, you are a formidable tennis player. You are passionate, and we can see that uh, your confidence does ooze out when it comes to tennis. Tell me, Khore, tell me, how does it feel to win this award tonight? Yeah, I'm really, really honored to have won this award. I think it's the fifth time. So uh, it keeps showing that hard work pays, you know. I'm, I'm really honored because I was so surprised with the nomination itself, you know, because as athletes, you know, we never think we've done enough but uh, obviously cheese sport you know keep doing their best to make sure that they honor us as women in sport in this country and with this initiative i hope to see you know more young upcoming athletes to come and dominate the stage and gia you heard it from kotazo urize hard work pays my darling 
se ka nnete mmerko mo botse wa patela go thatjwa ra go lebogesha mo mmerko e leng gore wa go dira now the much anticipated public choice award is next this award goes to the person with the most number of public votes without winning an award so many people watching this and wondering who will it be? It was a close contest, that much I can tell you, with a tight finish. The 2020 Public Choice Award winner is... I'm not, I'm not sure, sure if you are ready, but congratulations, Awande Malinga. And here to present the award is Mesare Kumano. Was the most successful female athlete in South African school squash team during last year's Asian tour. Congratulations, Awande. Now, listen, now this is a special award because people out there in South Africa get to vote for you. That means you're loved, you're appreciated, and people see the work that you put in. Now, tell me, how does it feel to receive this award tonight? Um, I, feel, I feel very happy and humbled that I'm nominated, and I'd just like to thank for the nomination and to everyone who voted for me. Uh, your multiple votes allowed me to win Public Choice Award as a result of receiving the most votes amongst all categories. And I'm just really thankful to G-Sport and Momentum for putting me in the public eye and to everyone who voted for me, my family, my friends, uh, this is a, our award to share. Oh, it's a beautiful award to share with your family and your friends. How beautiful is that, uh, Gia? Absolutely beautiful, just as beautiful as how she looks and as beautiful as how every single winner that we have seen tonight looks. And congratulations to everyone who's walked away with an award so far. We still have a lot more coming. But for now, I would like to find out where is Rachel? What is Rachel doing? Who is Rachel with? Rachel, avail yourself. Virginia, congratulations on your award, firstly. But just tell us about your story, your, your transition from healthcare into sport. Thank you so much. Um, so I was in healthcare for five years, and we dealt with um, HIV and AIDS, and the, the organization was doing training for caregivers and counselors and placing them in various hospitals. So part of my job was, um, I was part of the team that set up the health press center in Hillbrook, which is currently existing now. So moving, it was like a change of scenery that I needed at the time. But I knew that I'm still going to work with people because in the health sector we were dealing with people and you know you learn everything about being empathetic in, in the fraternity that we were in. So moving into sports, the difference was play as opposed to, to health care, you know, so but people were still involved, you know. So that transition was really um, a bit challenging many because you're coming to sports which has its own terminology that you still need to crack. I'm a vendor woman, I've never seen a rowing boat before then, uh, I've never been in a boat myself even prior to, 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 to then and it was like change of scenery, challenge yourself woman, you can do this, you know. Yeah. <laughs> Virginia so Mabaso, the 2020 Momentum G Sport Woman of the Year. Here, it's time to announce the ministerial recipients of no, the Thank Definitely, you. without a doubt. Thank you so much, Rachel. And I think Virginia is quite a great example of how you cannot let your background determine how you plow back into communities. And we are so happy that this has resulted in you being the 2020 Woman of the Year for G Sport Awards. Now, as Rachel did mention, it's time for us to look at the ministerial awards, which every year since 2015, we've seen the Minister of Sports presenting five ministerial recognition of excellence awards on this right here, Momentum G Sport Awards stage, to outstanding women who have excelled in their respective fields. Now, we welcome Deputy Minister of Sports, Arts and Culture, Notkawe Mafu, to do the honors of recognizing this talented individuals. This year, the focus is very clear. It is on the youth and honoring the next generation now in line with the ministry's generation equality theme. Let's have a look at the first ministerial recognition recipient, which goes to Nosi Pom Tembu. 
Nosipo represented South Africa at the 2020 African Games where she won a senior team gold medal and participated in the 2020 Junior Canoeing Championships in China. She became the first black African female to qualify for this event. Nosipo, congratulations on your award. Tell me, did you ever imagine as an 11-year-old Coming into the canoeing uh, sport, did you imagine yourself being here tonight winning this recognition from the ministerial office? Um, no, I didn't. Yeah, when I started paddling, I thought it was a joke. <laughs> How does it feel to, to win this award? Uh, this is a very special opportunity for me. And I'd like to thank G Sports and Momentum for giving us this chance as women. And I'd like to thank my coaches, Tim Kosingobo and Lee McBecca, for keeping me going. Uh, canoeing South Africa and uh, KwaZulu Natal Canoeing Union for everything they did for me. Um, my family and friends for the support they gave me. Thank you very much, Nosipo, and congratulations once again. For the second ministerial recognition recipient, please help me congratulate Laura Volfart. Laura won the SA Women's Cricketer of the Year Award and was one of the standout cricketers at the ICC Women's T20 World Cup where South Africa made the semi-finals. She was also included in the ICC T20 World Cup Team of the Year. Laura, congratulations on your award tonight. I mean, you've had an incredible season. You've had countless awards and also you were incredible at the ICC T20 World Cup. Tell me, how does, how does, this, make, how does this make you feel, just walking away with this award? This is so special for me um, and to receive it from the Deputy Minister herself. Um, she was actually at the World Cup supporting us on, so it's really special to receive this award from her and just to be recognised alongside my teammates. Um, we're a team where talented, brave, fierce, determined. We're an amazing bunch of a group, group of girls and to be, you know, to receive this award playing in a team like that, it's such a huge honor for me. That's amazing. Thank you so much and congratulations once again. Thank you so much. Now on to the third ministerial recognition recipient for tonight. Let's welcome Nolutando Makalima. Nolutando is a 31-year-old adaptive surfer from Kailicha who won a silver medal representing Team South Africa at the 2020 World Paralympics Surfing Championships in California in March 2020. There we go. Yeah, we need to remove the mask. Nolitando, congratulations on your award. Tell me what this really means to you. First of all, I would, I would love to say thank you to God for this day. And this means a lot to me. This is the, the best achievement I have. That, that, that I will never forget. And I would love to say thank you to Momentum. Thank you to G2. To, GS um, sports. Thank you to my family. Thank you to my child. And this hour is for you, my my, my child. Um, <laughs> thank you. Thank you to my supporters. Thank you to, to everyone who was here for me. Awesome stuff. Thank you so much. Congratulations. And did you hear that, Kia? This is an award that she will definitely remember for the rest of her life. Yes. Yes. Definitely, without a doubt. And I love the fact that she says it means everything to her. It means everything to us as women of South Africa to also be represented by such a tenacious young woman who continues to make sure that her strides dominate not only in the country but across the globe. Now let's move on to the fourth ministerial recognition recipient award, which goes to none other than Renee Naylor. 
Renee is the World Cup winning physiotherapist of the Springbok men's rugby team. She won gold with Siako Lisi and his team at the 2019 Rugby World Cup. Nela is a sports physiotherapist with over 20 years experience. Renee, congratulations on your award. Kindly step closer to the mic. I mean, you've won gold with Sia Kulisi, and now you're winning another award from the Recognition Award from the Ministerial Office. Tell me what this makes, how this makes you feel. Thank you so much to the Honourable Minister for recognising me and for all the amazing women here tonight. My journey is not different to many South African women that have had a tough time to get involved in sport. So for me, it's very, it's very special to, to be recognized. And I think that we have a responsibility to amplify and to multiply the stories that we have of these amazing women in South Africa, because our journey is not over. We still have so many hurdles for women and girls in sport. And, and I'm, I'm hoping that events like this can encourage people to not only inspire and support women in sport, but also to invest in women in South Africa in sport. So thank you to G Sport and to Momentum. This is an awesome event. Congratulations. Thank you so much. Let's continue to invest in women in sports. And I think we can all agree that talking about G Sport, creating platforms to honor women in sports who are on and off the playing field is quite a remarkable thing that they have done for the past 15 years. Congratulations to the winners so far. And let's go to the fifth and final Ministerial Recognition Recipient Award. Please help me congratulate Tiffany Keep. Tiffany is a 19-year-old cyclist who won double gold at the All-Africa Games. Congratulations, Tiffany. You're looking absolutely gorgeous tonight. Tell me how, how you feel regarding receiving this award tonight. So, firstly, I... I'd like to say a very big thank you to Momentum and G Sport for giving us women an opportunity to be recognised for our various sporting disciplines. They really are trailblazers in this piece and I really hope that it inspires many more um, businesses and organisations to support women in sport. And I'd like to say a very big thank you to my team at home, my family, friends, my coach and KZN Cycling and Cycling South Africa. Um, this would definitely not have been possible without them. Eddie. Oh, yes. And congratulations to all the winners who have received the prestigious ministerial award tonight. And we hope that your work will continue to impact so many lives of not only South Africans, but women across the world. Now, it's almost time for me to head, to head outside and go join Lesejo there at the party where she was recruiting me to be the DJ. But I think first and foremost, I need to finish what I have started here. And now we are ready to hand over the prestigious Momentum Athlete of the Year Award presented by the Department of Sports, Arts and Culture and of course our title sponsor, Momentum. The finalists for this award have all owned their success through their excellence and exceptional skills in their chosen and field. Standing by are Deputy Minister of Sports, Arts and Culture, Notawe Mafu, and Group Chief Marketing Officer of Momentum Metropolitan Holdings, Nontokozo Madonsela, to hand over this award. The finalists for Momentum Athletes of the Year are the following. Let's have a look. The Momentum Athlete of the Year. The finalists are Androne Veyers. A woman of courage, talent and conviction. She's a compelling voice for young girls growing up to embrace their uniqueness. Baba Alwa Lacha. History-making Springbok women's captain Lacha became the first South African female rugby player to sign an international professional rugby contract. And Haley Nixon. Reigning World Surf Ski Champion Nixon is a formidable force to be reckoned with in the international and local ocean racing discipline.
and watching from wherever you are watching the awards tonight so i'd like you to actually put your hands together and help me congratulate the 2020 momentum athlete of the year Haley nixon Reigning world champ surf ski champion Nixon is a formidable force to be reckoned with in the local and international ocean racing discipline. Her presence and involvement in the administration of the sport is hugely impactful for women as she calls for equality. Hayley, congratulations on the Athlete of the Year Award. I don't know if it gets any better than that. Tell me how you feel. Thank you so much. It's just, it's unbelievable. I think it's, um, it's a huge move for me, obviously, personally as an athlete, but also I think for canoeing South Africa um, to be up against track and field athletes as well as phenomenal rugby players. For, for canoeing to be on the map is amazing. Thank you so much and congratulations once again. Thank you. Thanks for having us. And congratulations to all the winners tonight. Let's give it up for the class of 2020 as we conclude the Momentum G Sport Awards show. This evening would have not been possible without Momentum. Here for your journey to success. And of course, the Department of Sports, Arts and Culture. On behalf of the G Sport Trust and I must say, Great work to my co-pilots as well. My voice of God, Lonravo Ngota, and of course on the red carpet, Rachel Makura. How do you sum up the night? Oh yeah, what a great night of celebration. All these women definitely deserve the awards they received today. I'm excited for the future of women in sport. So that's how we end up proceedings here on the red carpet. It's been a great night. Lesejo, I am ready for the after party. What's going on in there? Uh, we've got the DJ here that's wrapping things up for us. Have you enjoyed your evening? It's been so great. It's been spectacular. The ladies are looking so gorgeous. So it's been absolutely amazing. And you've also looked gorgeous as well. And now let's go to the ladies that side that have been our winners for tonight. And just to seal it off on a big note, we've got the young lady here that won the award tonight. And also some ladies on this side. Thank you so much, ladies, for coming through tonight. Tonight has been amazing. And this night could have been possible without your attendance today. And thank you so much for everybody that's tuning in. It's been an incredible night. And we've seen how the ladies have continued to own this success tonight on the red carpet thank you so much and from us and from me here on the red carpet it's good night and you can still continue to let us know which were some of your biggest highlights of the night on social media. The hashtags are GSport15 and hashtag she owns her success. We can all agree that every single woman that has worn tonight, every single woman we've had a conversation with tonight, continues to say, I will own my success despite the challenges that I face in the sporting fraternity and the sporting code that I associate with. Now from me, and on behalf of the G Sport Trust, thank you for tuning in. Thank you, South Africa. Thank you for making the 2020 G Sport Awards such a great success. Good night and God bless.